Hello YouTube, and welcome to the next episode of Minecrafting with the Wox. I suppose it'll be season... Ah, let's keep it season two. Nobody likes to start a new season after a couple of episodes. It has been a while again. I apologize, and that's that. Welcome to the spawn of the server. We actually drop right into the ocean when we spawn. It's pretty cool. You've... You're like, what the hell is going on? And you have to swim up, and then you see, ooh, it's sure. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, give you guys a little tour today of what we've been doing. It's not too much, but it's not uh, it's no small things either. So let's uh, let's get going while I ramble about my terrible Sunday. Today is Sunday, I think. Oh my goodness. Oh, I had a long night yesterday, and it. What is going on over here? Would you look at this? What? Chicken, did you? Did you? Oh my goodness. Wow. I don't know where this came from, but that is crazy. <laughs> I've heard of egg spawning, but that is just weird. I'm, I'm sure that someone must have thrown them out there. Or... Oh well. Ha <laughs> Look at that. Throwing eggs around like nobody's business. <laughs> we'll bake some cake. We'll bake a lot of cakes, looks like. Anywho, I am tired. Oh, you know those kinds of Sundays where you wake up, taste the blood on your breath, another pet missing? It's one of those days. Minus the blood and the missing pet. But it's still pretty bad. Oh, oh! to live is to suffer. I must find the way of the Buddha. Perhaps he can, he can, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm so tired. Anyway, this is our first little hidey hole. It isn't much, but we needed a place to survive before we uh, went our separate ways. So down here we have, what are you doing there, cow? What do you, have you noticed that the cows and all of the other entities can climb on these things now? Even when you make them too high, it's, high, it's crazy. Hey, hey! Stop that! That is not yours! Come on! I will take your beef! I... Get back here! Come here! Crazy cow! I shall slay you with my torch! Oh, there we go some beef. We're eating steak tonight. No more moldy bread for me. <laughs> you. I'm not even gonna bother. These cows. Crazy. Oops. Just like me, whacking torches off the wall everywhere. Where did this torch come from? Oh. Huh. Oh well, it's mine now. <laughs> oh no, it's here. This is my room. The Wax's room. You know me. I'm the I see a sign. I'm interested. This is me, right here. Just a little, little room. It's some dirt. It looks like. Ooh, I got some mossy and some other miscellaneous junk. And I never, uh, I'm never here. <laughs> so let's see. What is this? Experience farm. Very glitchy. Up kill, down collect. Oh right, we find we found a monster spawner here, and it looks like uh, Walker turned it into some kind of an XP farm. We'll have to check that out sometime, but not today, because I have uh, quite some things to show you. But that's interesting. It's been a while since I've been here. This is Sam's uh, beautiful abode. It, I think it's the absolute um, high point of architectural elegance. As you can see, he's got the uh, the gravel on the ground, and it goes partially into the wall, which makes it look as if he didn't do anything at all. And that's that's what he did. So <laughs> let's move on. Crazy walks is crazy. <laughs> I need aspirin. Somebody help me. I need help. Okay. So what I did is uh, I played for two days straight, pretty much, with uh, Sam, 
the music man for the uh, for the Polyverse game kind of uh, project. Cool guy. We had a lot of fun. Oh, by the way, that project is coming along nicely. I had a little um, some temporary uh, lack of motivation, we'll call it, and I am lost. Let's get back. But it's okay now. I'm adding new content, and soon I will show you what I did so far. Just a little hint, I added a flamethrower today. It's kind of fun. How did I get lost already? How did this happen? Where am I? Ow. Oh my goodness, that sound really is pretty nasty. I love it though. Okay, I remember this patch of flowers. I know where we are. This is the only existing landmark in this server. I believe... Oh, sorry, excuse me. Towards the rising sun, which is this way, definitely. Whoa! Well, that was dangerous. By all rights, I should have died. But I didn't. These ravines are pretty cool. They're very common, though. I wish they were a little more rare. But still. Ooh, we got something crazy going on down there. We've got craziness going on all over this place. Spawning in the middle of an ocean. No cows anywhere. But, uh, yeah, we went um, ahead and found a snowy biome. And we, uh, we set up a camp there. And uh, we've started to build on what may be considered a civilization. Kind of. You'll see. By the way, I noticed that the, uh, the new pre-pre-pre-pre-release, they have like these nightly builds now, or these weekly builds, I don't know. Ah, oh, there's the snow. They have the taiga biome back. So that's like snow and trees instead of snow and no trees. It kind of makes me angry. I mean, I wanted that biome back. But first they add so many things to the game and change the level generation in such a way that we all have to restart our games again. Nobody likes it. And then the very next pre-release, what do they do? They tweak the level generation and we'll have to... It'll probably not be compatible with this world. And that makes me sad and angry. Oh. That's karma for you. Anyway, let's hurry up to the house and... Oh, that's nice. It's snowing. Perfect egg-throwing weather. <laughs> I hit him! Awesome! That's right, chicken. I'm taking your egg, too. What are you gonna do? I'll leave the pigs alone. I like the pigs. With their... With their... S snouts. Yes. So this is a massive snow biome. It takes about 10 minutes to walk from one side to the other. And it is perfect for our little project because it's so barren. Look at this. Snow in every direction as far as the eye can see. Let's eat some bread. Oh, let's, uh, let's find the house. Ooh, it's getting cold. Maybe I should take his wool, wear it as a suit. Run around like a madman. Yes. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll make a wool suit and run around like a madman. I'm not doing too well today. <laughs> ah, there we go. That's our little humble abode. It's very humble and also an abode. So you know it's the truth. We uh, did some epic caving over here. We had many great adventures, which I did not record. Because, to be very honest, I did not feel like it. Because recording Minecraft is not the same as playing Minecraft. Got our wheat farm. Got our pumpkin and melon farm right here. All of this is obviously temporary. But we needed to survive. Open the door. Close the door. Aha. Uh -huh. Jam Master Sam's bed of love. And the Wax's bed of hate. Very good. I've got some random stuff in here. Got a uh, almost broken iron chest plate, plate, and a lovely Christmas view. We're not in here much because the interesting things go on in the cellar, as in any real house. 
let's see there we go cool huh? <laughs> we got it like this Ooh, listen to that nether portal go all right let's take a look we put a nether portal in a very interesting kind of fashion there's nothing there and we didn't build anything it's just the nether we've been there we've got some uh, interesting what was that Hello? Hello? Anyone? Hmm. Interesting. I could have sworn I heard something. Maybe maybe it was an Enderman. Maybe they take damage from snow as well. Because technically it's rain, probably. For the game, anyway. Anywho, we have a chest of awesome goodies. We have some awesome potions loads of well a reasonable amount of goodies here more eggs ah, I've put all the eggs in the chest there we go a ghast here isolated ghast very proud of it let's see what do we have we have a fish this is the uh, official house fish his name is Herbert and I just made that up. <laughs> we are rich men indeed. We have been caving like nobody's business. And look at all these diamonds. Oh, and look at all this gold. Oh my goodness. I, I want to jump, but I hit my head. Oh boy. There we go. Let's see. We've got dirt, gravel, wool, and sand. We've got nothing. And these are our special, special tools which we don't use because we are crazy people this is where we do the brewing as one does and this is where we do the enchanting let's read I'm not really reading it I'm kidding no bookshelves yet but we did start an interesting farm for just that um, shall I say problem let's do some sleeping first but before we sleep let's take a relaxing bath ah there we go ah nice and clean it's a foot bath it's not used for anything else it's glitchy so you can't even use it to fill up potions it's crazy business and yeah I set the time to zero before I started recording I never do it when I'm playing but I don't feel like waiting out the night so I cheated. <laughs> All right, this is uh, what do we got here? The, oh yeah, it's the uh, chicken pen. Hello, chickens. How you doing? You cool? Excellent. Damn glitchy animals! I wish they wouldn't jump on the fences, but they do. So we'll have to make some kind of a closed-off kind of uh, barn type of thing, type of dealy. Oh, I don't think they can actually get out, but I dislike the glitching. It does not please me. Yeah, that's right. You run. You run, sheep. We have been working on a tower. It's not much yet. And we'll get to that thing. But I think it is the beginning of epicness. Look at this. We've got the furnaces in the bottom. And then we have the awesome brick cobble kind of tower. And we've got these special decorations. We use the fences. Look at this. Is that not the most awesome torch holder ever? I think so. So let's walk around this. It's very uh, towery with the bars and the whatnot. It's going to be a mining tower. That's what it is. You see, it's going to go uh, all the way down to bedrock and all the way up to something else. And we will mine here, as you can see. Interesting fact about this tower. Can't tell you exactly why. It probably has something to do with the half slabs. But this place is pretty much creeper proof. We had creepers coming in here many times. I remember I was standing right here next to a glitchy skeleton. And Sam was over there and we were going to take a picture like... Take a picture with me and the skeleton. Jeez. It was fun. Anyway, while we were doing this, it was like a creeper coming in. Hey, dudes, what you doing? And he exploded right here. 
nothing except this one slab got hurt. And this has happened multiple times. And see here again, at least three, four times. And every single time, the only thing lost is this one slab and nothing else is hurt. So I'm not sure what that is, but it's a sturdy tower, I'll tell you that much. We can go up the stairs here. We've got cozy snow. And it's open up here, obviously, because it's not done yet. Anywho, what we also did is we decided we needed a reed farm. So that's what that interesting building is. Let's go down there. Oh, my ankle! I can't feel my legs! I must crawl! No, not really. Let's see. This is what you have seen before in the Let's Play, if you're a, uh, a long-time viewer, I guess. This is... Let's go in. You know what this is. This is a fully automated reed farm. We've got the bud switch back here. But stands for Block Update Detector. So that's a Block Update Detector switch. What it does, as I have explained before, any time that a block update occurs next to this piston, and that means um, if I place something, if I remove something, if anything changes next to this block, and that includes this reed growing up to this high, because that's a new block, right? It gives off a redstone signal, comes out here, goes on top here, and powers these pistons, pushes the reeds out and washes all the goodies over here so you don't have to harvest it yourself it's completely automated and hopefully at some point we'll uh, it'll yield enough reeds to make some bookshelves because those are uh, very expensive these days anyway that's well that's pretty much it look at all this snow it's crazy anywho um, yeah, that's the entire update. I guess I'll give you another update soon. And I will also record some episodes with some building in it, some adventuring in it. Probably with some Sam, uh, Sam as a, uh, as a guest. Or maybe, uh, Walker again, the pirate walrus. Or the walrus pirate, if you will. It'll be fun. But for now, this is just an update video because I am tired. Oh, my head... Why must I lead this sinful existence? Because it's fun. Um, that's our tar tree. It's an interesting tree, to say the least. I do believe that it is the ugly tree. And if there were sticks on trees in Minecraft, I would hit people with sticks of that tree right there. That was an interesting thing to say. Anyway, rambling aside, there you go. Update on the server. And, uh, well, I guess I'll see you guys soon in the next episode of Minecrafting with the Walks. Don't forget to leave a like.